tutorial on how to make your own LAN co-op servers or whatever servers you want to play with Project Brutality and Zandronum Beta 3. Now, I looked up most tutorials and most of them were either just big blocks of text, which I'm not happy about, I'll be totally honest, or the um, tutorials didn't... Um, use Zandronum, well, well the, the beta for Zandronum 3 anyway, so I'm I'm gonna skip right to the chase here and I'm assuming you have everything set up in Z-Doom Loader, um, everything like that. So what you're gonna need is obviously Z-Doom Loader, then you're going to need Hamachi, right, let me just open mine. <coughs> Bear with me. Right, so here it is. I've got Hamachi, I've got my own server set up, everything like that. There's my friend here. Um, so this is like, yeah, also, disabling the firewall does really help. In Windows 10, sometimes it likes to fucking turn itself back on. I've no idea why. It's Windows 10, isn't it, I guess. But, you know, we all like Windows. <laughs> nope. Alright, so anyway, you have your load order sorted, everything like that, all your wards and everything. Um, as a side note, you do need to have, um, well, you and whoever's joining your server, or if you're joining someone else's server, you need to have the same load order as them. Like, for example, if you didn't have one of these external files, or this was, like, here instead of right at the top, then it won't work. Um, not to my knowledge, anyway. But, um, basically, then, what you want to do when you're hosting is... Um, CDL should look like this originally. You press the go into multi settings, just use these um, settings here because these tend to work the best. Um, if the don't worry about the port too much, um, that's uh, the default port that it uses, I think. But if it can't use it for some reason because one of your network adapters is using it or whatever, then it'll shift it to the next port up. So yeah, just use those settings. Then, um, if you go down here into this little arrow, you've got uh, game modes. You've got game mode here. Set that to co-op. You want to be, uh, both people want to do this host and um, people who are joining. Uh, the host goes uh, selects how many players you want, um, or just press joining uh, if obviously you're joining. Then what you do is you put in your Name, whatever, this can be whatever, forward slash, then your IPv4 from Hamachi, just right click up here, copy IPv4. Uh, then you choose the map. This is obviously dependent on what iWod you use, uh, the skill. Um, and then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, well, on the host side anyway, then once you press launch, bear with me, then you'll come up, it'll come up with this. Uh, this is just all the server assets loading in then there is a little something that you need like another step that you need to do after this and it's project brutality um, specific uh, I just get the user manual because honestly this thing really helps uh, so if we just uh, no, I don't want to remove a button, uh, add a bookmark then we go to search for multiplayer multiplayer setup here we go. Then you need to add these into the server. You just copy and paste these in. Da 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 da. Like so. Uh, but that's if you want to use the Project Brutality game mode. These are the codes for the other modes. Then you've got the spawn types here. I always go for alternative because this way, like most of the new weapons spawn like straight away. You don't have to. Well, the the enemies with the new weapons spawn straight away, should I say. Then you just put that in as well. Then you go into, uh, yep, join server. I'll show you what you have to do as well if you're joining because it won't necessarily work. Oh yeah, let me just turn that down. Right, okay, that's better. Then, um... I'm just going to see, I'm spectating, I'm in the game, I've hosted it, cool. It doesn't really matter when um, your friends join as well, you can be in the game and they can join, or 
um, you can just be in that little server uh, setting up the UI that I just showed you and then they can join then. So if you're connecting, obviously having all your settings matched and load order matched in ZDL, what you want to do is open up the console here, type in connect, um, the IPv4, uh, the host's IPv4, so I'm just going to put some random numbers here, then uh, colon, and then the port that the host is hosting on, like that. Uh, you can see it. So I've got the connect space IPv4 colon uh, the part that they're hosting on. And that should literally just do it fine. Alright, if you find this tutorial helpful, then please give me a like if you've got any more questions. Uh, if you're running into little complications, then please let me know. I'll be sure to try my best to help you out. I've only just cracked this myself, so. But yeah. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye-bye.